<laughs> Are you off tomorrow? No. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I figure I do. I figure since I was here, he got a washer and dryer. Why not? Yeah, makes that sense. Works. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely works. Okay. And we're live, so we're just going to give it a few moments for a couple of people to join in. Okay. <laughs> Did everyone have a good weekend? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Don't want it to end. Anything exciting happened this weekend? Um, catching up on our shows. I can't wait to <laughs> watch our TV shows. So what was you watching this weekend? What is one of your no, shows? We have to watch it uh, later on tonight. Lovecraft Country. Oh, what's that about? Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> It's about it's a, historical, it's a fictional, fictional. Yeah, fictional about Science historical, uh, historical, I guess you want to say activism, oh, no. <laughs> activism, black history, black history from the 1950s with, um, a wizardry, yeah. wizardry, okay. sorcery okay. and wizardry, it's yeah. really good, it's, um, from the executive producer, uh, Jordan Peele, and I think Misha Brown writes it. So oh, okay. it's a very sophisticated show. <laughs> what, is it the first season? What's that? It's just the first season. Um, I think we're about six episodes in, so you still got time to catch up. Oh, okay. Um, we watch that, and then we go on the more ratchet side of Pea Valley. So <laughs> power, 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 power is not ratchet. Power is right in between. <laughs> so we got a mix of everything. Carlita, do you watch this too? No, that kind of sounds like this uh, book that I read. It's Black Girls Unlimited because they said it was about witch, witch tree or something like that. About, I don't know, witchcraft. It like kind of sounds something like that. But uh, girl, the book Black Girls Unlimited, it sounds just like that because she had a lot of uh, superficial things going on. So... Okay. No, but I don't watch that show. Actually, my favorite shows, I'd rather not say them on here. Oh, Dr. Right. Pimple Popper, is that a, that's Dr. Pimple Popper. I love that show. You like to pop pimples? Yeah. <laughs> I like that I one. She used to like to pop pimples. She, she go around popping your pimples when you're around her? Like, oh, yep. let me get that. Let me get that pimple. Yep. <laughs> I love that show. See all the goo come out in my 600 pound life. I love that show too. Oh, so do I. I used to watch Hoarders and stuff like that. Oh, Hoarders? I love Hoarders. I like Hoarders. I, like I hoarders. love Hoarders. Yeah. yeah. My 600 pound life, Hoarders, all that stuff. I love it. And 90 Day love Fiance. Ooh, I haven't I love seen it. that one yet. A lot I, of I just started watching that after my. It's no. a whole mess, but <laughs> yeah. it's a whole mess, but you'll enjoy it. I've heard. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> I've watched that. It's pretty good. Yeah, I watched that. There's another sh there's another um dating show from Atlanta that ready I Ready to watching. Love or Ready to Love? Yes, Ready to Love. Yeah, I just yeah we watched that when they're coming yeah. out with another season soon. I can't wait. Oh, they, oh I yeah, yeah. I just finished season two. It was season really good. Week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, next week? Oh, okay. And within the next week, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I was watching that, and then I had watched 90 Day Fiance. Um, so, yeah, we'll give it another minute or so. Okay. Hi, Marcus. Thank you for joining. Hi, Christina. Hi, Sue. Hi, Billy. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We're just going to give it another minute or so uh, before we get started. But, yeah, that's good. Jenny, did you do any? Oh, you went out to dinner with your mom. Yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, this I called her and I said, hey, does she cook? My sister was like, no. They're like, you want to come eat? I'm going to say no. So <laughs> <laughs> so I went and picked them up and we all went out to um, a Chinese buffet. Nice. Um, yeah. I haven't had Chinese since this whole... I don't know. I know it has nothing to do with 
<laughs> that's just me. <laughs> like, I don't want Chinese, so I'm like, okay, we won't eat Chinese, but yeah. <laughs> Here, you, you celebrated your birthday this weekend. Where, where did you go? I did. So I was with my friends on, so Friday, well, I had a two-day photo shoot. So Friday and Saturday, we had a photo shoot. And then um, Saturday night, I was at one of my best friend's house. She had a couple of her family over and stuff like that. So it was nice. She, um, her husband just built the deck and they got like a fire pit. So we was enjoying the deck that he just built and things. And then, you know, nice. yeah. Where did you get your attire from? Was it actually authentic from um, Africa or did you get it from here? So, um, my friend made it, um, Patricia. She she actually made it for me and my son. So oh okay yeah. But it's um it is from the the one that I had is from Kenya. The okay. fabric that I had is from Kenya. Okay. Wow, nice. Yeah, it was I nice. Can see that. <laughs> you <laughs> said you did a photo shoot. shoot. Was the photo shoot for your birthday or? Yes, I did a birthday photo shoot. Ooh, mm -hmm. my birthday is Tuesday for those that don't know so I did a birthday photo shoot and hopefully my pictures will be done by Tuesday he did send them me the proofs today and I have to pick uh pick which ones I like I like them all but you know I, I can't <laughs> pick them all so. <laughs> so it was fun thank that you that sounds fun to have a birthday photo shoot it is you should have a birthday when's your birthday Oh, it's February 6th. You can Long have one for next year. That'll be nice. Long way off. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> Thank you, viewers, for tuning in to Uncommon Women. I'm Shanira. And I'm Jenny Lee. And before we get into today's topic, we have lovely guests, uh, Moya, Kualitha, and Kualana. Kailana with us today. Uh, they're going to be joining us, tell, telling us about their wonderful businesses that they have for the community, um, as well as some expos and some virtual dating. So we'll get into that in just a moment. Um, but to let you know uh, who we are and what we do, we are an uplifting podcast. We uh, focus on two things. Uh, we basically empower women. Uh, men are more than welcome to listen and join in as well. Uh, but we focus on two things. We have people that come on to speak about their lives and tribulations in regards to what they went through in life and where they're at now in life. And then we also have people come on and share their businesses in regards to what they're doing for the community or how they can help others in the community. Uh, so today we're going to be focusing on the business perspective. Um, before we get into the businesses, I want to let you know a little bit about our um, guest speakers. Uh, and if you have any questions in regards to their business, uh, go ahead and comment, and then we'll answer your questions at the end. Uh, so for Kualita, uh, she's a chief commercial officer and creative director. She's also a wife and a mother. <laughs> this is Kualita at the bottom. Uh, yeah. Uh, she's also served commuting, community working nonprofits and volunteering her time when needed. Kualitha earned her Bachelor's of Arts in Urban Affairs and a Master of Education in Curriculum and Instructions. As a substitute teacher, Kualitha believes in pursuing fostering nurturing learning environments in her instructing, instructing approach. Kualitha, Kualitha is a creative juggernaut, which is reflects in her many ideas she envisions for BASA. Kualitha is also kind heart. Uh, she will give her shirt off her back to anyone in need. So thank you, Kualitha, for um, giving back to the community and, you know, just being authentic, authentic for everyone. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure, a blessing, and I could not have done this without God first and without my sisters, my mother, and my husband. I could just keep going on, and on <laughs> but it first starts with God. He put that in my life and my heart to give back to people and that's what we started build a sister up for to that's give awesome. back amen that's awesome well i'm gonna read uh moya's bio single mother of a son chief operate operating officer and brand ambassador her son has given her the inspiration to succeed and has given her a greater calling to lead she also has her bachelor's of arts in political science and master's in management and leadership. Her passion is to empower young girls and single young mothers. 
Moya wants to give young girls and young mothers the confidence to reach greatness and their highest potential. Yes, that is true. And uh, let me um, clear something up. Just last year, I, I got married. So um, that that's new. Um, oh. <laughs> married for a year now. But other than that, yes, my passion is still single mothers um, because I was one for many years. So um, that's where my heart lies. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yes. So, yes. Kailana, please forgive me if I'm butchering your name. Kailana. <laughs> Kailana. We went over this several times before we started, and I still can't get it together. So I'm just going to thank you. <laughs> Uh, Kualana is a chief executive officer and general counselor, uh, is a servant to the community as well. Uh, Kualana has received her bachelor's in science and biology from Howard University and her juris doc doctors from the University of District in Columbia School of Law and licensed to practice law um, in the state of Maryland, Ohio and DC. Uh, Kualana has worked for a nonprofit and has desires to keep uh, strengthening the communities around her. Uh, Q is an advocate for a justice, humane, and activist, being a critical thinker and an analyst. Uh, Q displays determination and advances for the goals of BASO. Yes, yes. Nice. Thank you for that bio introduction. But yes, um, thank you all for having us here today. Um, yes, praise to God for all that he has brought us through, bringing us here today. He's the honor of our life. We look forward to doing this show and just discussing our business with you lovely ladies. And once again, thank you. Yeah, so thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to speak on it. So before we get into the business, you know, being as though you three ladies are blood sisters, um, thank how you. was your life uh, growing up? How was your childhood? Um, any moments you would like to share with us before we get into the business perspective? Who's the oldest? Well, <laughs> we're well, all I'm the eight. oldest of <laughs> these three. Of the three? Okay, two. okay. Mm -hmm. two up here. I'm the oldest, but it's actually five of us. And um, so it's actually five of us. I will sit second oldest. Yeah, you're second yeah. four. Second oldest. <laughs> so it's five of us. So um, we had a, um, I would say for myself, uh, we all had a great uh, upbringing. We were all raised in church and I'll let them speak to. We were all raised in church and um we were raised to love, help each other, give back, uh, be respectful. And that's what we try and do. Well, not try, I'm not gonna say try. That's what we do in our business. We give back, we help out. And um, we just try and, I, look, I'm gonna stop saying try. We do <laughs> give back to people. And we want everybody to know that you know, even if you don't have love in your life, you can find love and give love in some type of way. Yes. So yeah. I'll stop talking and let them talk. That's good. But we had a great childhood. We did. You know, we did our fights here and there. Right. But other than that, we <laughs> love each other. Overall, that's awesome. Yeah, we that love is, each other. It's really awesome. Yeah, we just had a lovely childhood with our parents, uh, family, friends. We grew up with the spirit of the Lord and it's God. And uh, that's why he is guiding us to do whatever it is for his will, we can do for his kingdom. So that's what we're doing. Amen. Thank you for giving back to the community. I can't thank you enough for that. We need, we definitely need more of a movement for that for the community as well. So thank I appreciate you. it. You're welcome. Yes. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, go ahead, Jenny. What was the first business you ladies started together? This is the first business we actually started together. So our mm. father uh, and mother, our parents actually had a franchise. They actually opened up a franchise together, a uh, Mr. Hero in Akron. And so it's a restaurant in the Midwest. It's similar to Subway, Quiznos, combination of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So we worked there when we were younger and we always had the spirit of entrepreneurship from them. 
So um, this is our actual first business and we are going to see it through and through. And we want it to become a billion dollar company. Yes, it will. Nice, be. yes. I mean, we got to manifest that. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Blame it. And it's yeah. already it's already existing. So it's. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Go ahead, Jenny. Whose idea was it and who initiated each brand? Now, who wants to tell this story? <laughs> well, I'll let Alana tell this story. Go ahead and tell it. Nice. <laughs> she tells the story the best, so go She's ahead. the best one to tell it. Okay, I mean, I'm excited. So, I don't, first of all, I don't remember this. But I remember it. Okay. I remember it. So our mother is very, um, she's been very instrumental in us doing this. I, yeah. I just want to say that. Um, as well as Jaden and Deja, those are these two, um, their children. Mm -hmm. Jaden's mom, Deja's mom. So um, I decided to go to law school back in 2013. So when I came home for my first, um, I guess, Thanksgiving break, I had gained a little weight. I had gained some extra pounds and they're used to me looking fine and beautiful in the dark. <laughs> but they're used to me looking, you know, slim and trim. So, um, so this one or this one, one of them said to me, um, what did you all say? What was it like? We told her I she don't remember. Little weight. Yeah, they told me I gained a little weight. And I said, you know what? Don't talk to me like that. You supposed to build me sister up, you know? Just encourage me to put whatever I'm eating down and work out, build a sister up. You know, right. don't put me down, build me up. So my mother, I believe, said, oh, you should put that on the shirt. Yes, that's a wonderful <laughs> name for a business. So from that, from tearing me down, <laughs> from, no, from giving me constructive criticism, but not in a way that would be well-received is how we formed build a sister up so we wish to give people constructive criticism but in a, a, a way that they can actually receive it yes so that's how it was born yes okay i like that. all right so do i <laughs> what are some challenges you ladies have experienced throughout this journey um uh, paulita you should answer that as our <laughs> chief marketing officer well one thing i can say some challenges have been um First of all, by us being family, you know, when you mm -hmm. are family, sometimes you get into disputes, I may say. Mm -hmm. And um, you have to remember, which we had to remember, that we started this group to help other people. So mm -hmm. our challenges have come where sometimes we might go back and forth from bicker and funding. That, that could have been a, a challenge too. That has been a challenge in before in the past. But how we got through those challenges were first, we had to have faith. We had to talk it through. And each day we're just trying to grow. We're mm -hmm. growing, our uh, Facebook page is growing, our viewers are growing. So we're overcoming a lot of those challenges. Uh, another challenge too is uh, fundraising. That's why we have started our um, business of a week where we ask different businesses, uh, different people in the group just to give a dollar to a business to help support. None of that money actually goes to us. It goes right to the business. So that's been a challenge too we had. Mm -hmm. And um, I could just keep going on. We've had uh, summer programs that we put on for the kids and it was all free so at first when we started doing that we were thinking where were we going to get the funding to even start to okay. give back to the kids well you know what we didn't have funding so we just did it out the kindness of our hearts mm -hmm. so I hope that answers the question yeah and I'll, I guess yeah. I'll piggyback off of that too um some of the challenges we actually face is uh, marketing, not marketing, but converting our people from just viewers to actual consumers to right. clientele. Mm -hmm. So um, we know that people will listen to you and want to purchase from you if you give them something that will make them happy or give them something to right. yeah. so, um, that's like great. <laughs> right, exactly. So that's something that we are, um, we have to experience and actually work on and grow, but that's all a part of the, the learning process for us. So converting people from just viewers to actually clientele. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So that's one of the challenges. But that's something that I think lots of businesses face in their early years if they actually do reach a successful point. Absolutely. And, and I another challenge is okay. networking. Oh, I'm sorry. Another challenge oh, no, is networking. You know, in the beginning, we um, had a lot of problems with networking. You know, that fear of just uh, going on live, you know, that was a challenge too. Learning how to go on live, learning how to speak, right. learning how to... Um, just get our schedule in order right. to speak to different people or just learning how to use Facebook, you know, learning how to get used to the platform. So it, it it's a lot, it was a lot of challenges and we're still working through them. Mm -hmm. Has the challenges that you had in the beginning, has it smoothed out for you now that you're starting to get used to a lot of things and, um, the tools that they actually have for promoting and networking has it has it gotten easy for you ladies i think that we're still, we still um <laughs> we still face challenge well we're we're better at being live we can we can actually go live i think we're more comfortable um we kind of got an idea of that so i think we've gotten over that hurdle and are still learning um, mm -hmm. still growing in that area but we still face the challenge of having the, our actual group members um, be interested in being consumers because they can be, we, we can have the numbers. Yeah, we have the numbers, but we don't actually have them interested. So I think that's something yeah. that we still okay. have to get over. How do we get them to actually- How do we get everyone <laughs> interacting with exactly. helping? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. That's good. So let's let's talk about the virtual black business. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that before we go into details about our questions in regards to it? <laughs> so can someone explain to us what your virtual black business is all about and what you guys do in regards to that and how the funding came into place? Carlita, I think you should take that one too. <laughs> She is big on, she's our juggernaut. She has, she always has it. ideas yeah, going left and right. These ideas. So, <laughs> and we just she threw like, you <laughs> under the bus. <laughs> she's, like, she's the judicial branch and we're like the executive branch. So. <laughs> they did. Um, what's the question again? <laughs> what, is, what is the virtual black business? Just explain that yeah, to just them. Tell us what the virtual black business is all about. Um, our business. First of all, I, I, I do want to show one of our journals we have. So Ooh, this I is one like of our journals that. that we do. I like have. that. I like that. Build a sister up journal right here. Okay. So within this journal, for instance, it has lots of different pages now. And you can just dot, jot down uh, your life experiences. What I've been doing, and I'll piggyback on your question in a minute. Okay. What I have been doing. <laughs> Uh, daily, um, I started to, in the morning, I started to take out time, right? Um, before I do anything, before I cut on my phone, uh, look at YouTube, look at the mm -hmm. television and news and see what's going on. I right. started to get on my knees and pray. Okay. And, um, I just start with our father, you know, yes. the daily prayer. I, I start with our father and I ask God to just to forgive me for my sins. And I sit there and I wait and allow God to talk to me and I talk to him. Then after that, I, I sit there and I read my um, scripture. I read two scriptures a day. And I also pray. I pray for as many people that can come on my heart and I can think of. And then I go to my journal and I write down what I've done for the day. So I can refer back to that and remember that we are Build a Sister Up. And before we started to Build a Sister Up, the reason why we did it is because we wanted to encourage different people. We wanted to encourage men and women. That's why we do have Build a Sister Up and Build a Brother Up. So our main reason of why we started this Black business is because we noticed a lot of women and men they have a problem with encouraging and giving uplifting words to each other. So we thought of a way to just pour into everybody's soul and try and just be a model 
for people to to love one another, right. to uplift one another. And if we can do that through our platform on Facebook and in the material that we're wearing and in our journals and soon in our books and also in our classes that we have with the kids, because when we had our summer class, before we started our class, we would give a prayer just like you did when we started um, mm -hmm. this podcast, which I really appreciate that. So um, I hope that answered your question. Well, I'll piggyback too. So okay. Massive is a multifaceted <laughs> brand. And um, one of our brands is the Virtual Black Business and Expo. So with that part of our business, we hope to promote other Black businesses. You know how sometimes you go into Facebook groups and you can't post your business. You can only post it on certain days. Right, right. Paper advertising and all that. This one allows you just to post your businesses all the time, free advertising, free advertising anytime you want. And what we do annually, semi-annually, uh, tri-annually, however many times, is we go on on a virtual expo and allow people to network and connect and showcase their businesses and products and services. So other people, we can get the word out about their brands and their services, what they offer, so we can just put them on a large platform and share their businesses. Because once again, it's hard to market yourself if you don't have the money and the right people platform. Too. Mm -hmm. So we want we yeah. to give other Black businesses a platform virtually. That's what that virtual Black businesses and expo does. Yeah, so okay. eventually we want to move some of our, I know right now in our Build a Brother Up and Build a Sister Up groups, we do allow for self-promotion, self-advertising. And eventually we do want to start to move some of that self-advertisement into our virtual black business group. Okay. Because we don't want to get away from what actually we were trying to do with build a sister up and build a brother up, which was for people to post uplift and encourage and uplift. words and mm -hmm. everything like that. Sometimes it can get misconstrued yeah. of the actual purpose of our groups. If we have too many advertising, too many things going on, although we are multifaceted and multifaceted brand, um, we do organize and com compartmentalize. So, Okay. Uh, virtual black businesses and expos just showcases and advertises black businesses virtually that's awesome and also okay. too we will start going live okay to uh showcase our products it will be uh bass up boutique okay. so you will okay. possibly see me or Qualan or moya just going on live holding up our numbers like this and just <laughs> you know giving great prices so just look out for that showing our merchandise that we have in our books <laughs> once again. Absolutely. Yeah, and the other one more thing with the Black businesses, we um, want to encourage people to share the, the wealth of information they do have, like um, what share some tips on successful businesses, on the uh, GDP, the products that you should be buying or whatever you should be opening and going into if you want to be an entrepreneur or learning the skills to be an entrepreneur, just like we did with our uh, kids expos. We gave the tools, we gave some information on going into entrepreneurship. So you won't just be blind and think you can just open a business and not know the tools I know behind everything it, the about it. Yeah. that mm -hmm. you need behind it. So that's another thing we do. We wish to educate entrepreneurship. Because right. a lot of these businesses, you know, people charge you to find out something that you could have went to the IRS website for free. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I'm really not big on that. Now, some things, of course, you do have to charge because mm -hmm. come on, you sat there and you did a lot of research. So you right. do have to charge something. But it's like everything you don't have to charge for, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, build a sister up, let a sister know what's going up. Right. <laughs> love, build <a> up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So what is your your goal and your vision long-term for the virtual black businesses? Where do you, where do you want it to go as far as long-term? Do you, <laughs> I see them looking at you like. <laughs> so, you know, I guess, and I'm gonna get them. Cause it's, yeah. <laughs> um, but where you do know we what, and I'll, I'll, go I'll do a caveat, Paulita. Paulita. Gone girl, but, get it. Kalitha sits and she studies <laughs> all of these entrepreneurs that have become successful. And she tells us to sit and study mm -hmm. them too. And oftentimes we don't, but she does. She sits there and learns them, learns their ways. So she has this down pat. That's why we defer to her with this. 
So I need to get her number. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know everything. Trust me. I don't, I'm learning. And let me tell you, there's a lot of people that's out here, and I hope you all are listening. A lot of people might know me because I tap into a lot of people's lives. And some people's, you know, lives I really enjoy. Other lives, I'm like, she just learning, she just learning. But let me tell you. I'm not the one to sit there and criticize. I don't go on people's pages and criticize. And I don't know why people do that. To me, that makes no sense. So when you see me come on live, if you see I stumble over a word or stumble over another, uh, the, another, meaning a number, and this is 28, <laughs> let's say I say number 82. Don't call me out. Just, you know, inbox me like, sister, right. you got it wrong. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So where do we see this long term? Actually, we have a product that we have in the making that we want to get out in the public and possibly start uh, manufacturing. So just watch out for your sisters. Watch out for Build a Sister Up because we are trying to build so with the with the business we want okay. to be, okay. to be to have a she few rabbit trail. Um, she got rabbit trail. Yeah, we want to have a few expos yearly, maybe three or four expos annually to um okay. showcase business black businesses. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so that's what we want to do and that would be an opportunity. Okay, and you do funding for uh, virtual black businesses as well. So no. So we don't do it in there. I mean, well, yes, we do that in BASA. We don't do it in the Facebook group called Vi- Virtual Black Business and Expo. So right now, our crowdfunding is only through BASA up and BAB up. Um, if you, if people want to join that, of course, you you have to, um, sign, have to up. sign up. There's yeah. a Google sheet. You can see who's coming up and upcoming and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But right now, um, we don't have the numbers. And once again, that's great that we're on here today to ask people to go ahead and join Virtual Black right. Business and Expo to increase those numbers so we can eventually move the crowdfunding over to that because what perfect place to do virtual crowdfunding than in the virtual black businesses and expos. Correct. Exactly. So once again, mm-hmm. answering the question, we want to do um, <laughs> three to four expos mm-hmm. annually hosting and showcasing virtual black businesses and expos and educating entrepreneurs on all things in the black community going on with entrepreneurship and giving them tips and tricks on success. That's what we okay. want to do. And is this going to be typically like seminars or seminars? Okay, perfect. Yeah, seminars, conventions, um, multifaceted okay. breakout rooms, just like you see at any um, large expo. We want to expand right. to that large of a platform. Yes. And the good thing I want to with people. That's awesome. Um, the good thing I like about that is it's going to be virtual. So anyone can actually join throughout the world to actually exactly. get some information. That's amazing. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So in what ways does your business, um, we talked about a little bit, but in what ways to you does your business benefit the community? Moya, do you want to answer this? <laughs> well, they normally, they, like I said before, they normally get the ideas and I normally just execute it. So okay. um, Paulana, I guess, can go ahead and start with this one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so my role is the, um, So yes, I'm the general counsel, but I'm also the chief executive officer. So what my role is to do is to educate the community on things that we need to build us up to encourage us to not be hopeless or face disparity. I remember one of the questions in our group was, why do we vote? And my response to that was because of the Breonna Taylor situation. Perfect example, we vote because um, the law that allowed the officers to go into Breonna Taylor's home unannounced Right. So not warrant was put in place by uh, lawmakers who were voted in by state of Kentucky residents. And then the AG um, either did or didn't present facts to a grand jury to mm-hmm. allow the people who executed that warrant to go uh, without being charged. But the reason for the shooting was not because of um, not voting. It was because of voting that allowed these people to go in and... <laughs> Um, have a warrant, a legal warrant. Right. So they legally have the right to be there. So that tells us that there's things that we don't understand and things that we need to be educated on to know how they work instead of just sitting back and letting things happen and not taking advantage of the system that we have to change. So um, Build a Sister Up wants to encourage people to get educated and get to know the system so we can change the system because we can't sit by and passively wait 
before things change. We have to be active. And activity right. starts with voting yeah. and other educational things we have to bring together one another. And that's what we want to do. We want to bring men and women together to unite and fight in the right way that brings us change and progress, progression. So that's what Build a Sister Up and Build a Brother Up does. We try and bring together one another and stop fighting and encouraging us to educate each other and love one another. And that's the other thing that we do with our group. What's our group, our dating group called? The Vezlo Dating. The yeah, Vezlo Dating wants to bring to people that. together unity and love because we do believe that marriage actually strengthens our communities. And that's something we got away from. So that's something that we're trying to do once again, bring it all back to Joan F. Girl. Yes, mm -hmm. it's all a big circle. It all runs together, but we, as Build a Sister Up, want to bring us together to unite and fight to strive for better, for change. Yes. That's and you know what also too, I'm a tell you. Let me go ahead. <laughs> so, um, also, another thing we try and do to help the community is that if you're on our website, each day we have a tip of the day, mm -hmm. we have a word of the day, and uh, something else we have. What else do we have? <laughs> we have theme days, we have word of the day, we have yeah. word of the day. Birth so these day, things, day, woman of the week, the woman of the week, and see, our word of the day, we give a word of the day. And you know, you can pick your own word. But the reason why we give a word of the day, we also give a definition, is because we're trying to educate everyone. You know, it's not mm -hmm. to say that we know every word in the dictionary, but right. we're trying to help um, teach, teach and learn. There's a lot of people that don't read books, trust me. And they might just read Facebook. So if you think about it, if you have something positive, like the tip of the day that we throw out there, that you could just, you know, ride with you right. through the whole day, you know, you might say, hey, the tip of the day was to be beautiful. I don't know. You know, each mm -hmm. day we try and have something positive that you can just store in your back pocket. So when those hard times come, you know, and there's a lot of people that, don't believe in God, some do, some don't, or whatever, whatever your religion is. But, you know, it's always good to believe in God, but I'm, you know, but however, if you don't, there's a positive tip of the day that we have on there. Oh. There's a word to encourage you that you can just take with you anywhere you need to go. And just remember, we are building sister out. We're here to help you. We're okay, I, I'm going to stop talking for now. <laughs> building everybody up that's awesome and i like and kids that, too sorry Thank you. yes we'll get into the kids expo too i like <laughs> i like that you ladies just aren't you know throwing something out there without the why like mm -hmm. telling everybody to go vote but you're actually backing up with the reason why you should vote because a lot of people's like always giving education or information on certain things that we should do, but a lot of people don't know the reason why. And the reason why is what actually puts forth of why you should vote or whatever whatever you're discussing in that case. So I, I really like that. I think that's very important. Um, based on you know the black business, what is something that you ladies enjoy about uh, the virtual black business? So um, I think, well, I'll use our um, kids entrepreneurship expos, for example. Okay. With that, I enjoyed actually learning myself, learning a lot of different tools to use on the methods of actually marketing ourselves and the products that people are buying, consumers are buying, whether black, white, Asian, and uh, city, state. There's a tool called, um, what's that tool called? It's on the US Commerce website. But there's a tool on there that actually tells you this, what people are buying. So if you want to break into entrepreneurship and don't know where to go, this kind of tells you what people are buying. Yeah, the gross national product um, was being sold in high numbers and what whatever community you're looking for, what they're buying. So I actually learned, um, well, I knew about that, but I actually love using the tools to um, uh, my advantage, using my resources. So I love actually learning more and more about entrepreneurship through using the tools that we um, used as resources to actually share information with our participants. So that's one thing we do love. We love actually being able to improve on our business and sharing that wealth of information and passing that over. Mm -hmm. And I think I love being able to have the platform to for people to showcase their own products. Um, I know a lot of people were very thankful when we had our last virtual 
expo or kids expo a lot of people were thankful for us even having that platform so mm -hmm. for people to be able to come to us and have a, a space to actually showcase their products is very rewarding for us yep that's awesome true that is awesome in regards to the kids expo what's the age range for the expo it's seven to 15 years old okay but 16 and up is welcome are welcome as well so seven to 15. Okay, and what do you typically do for the Kids Expo? Is it so, the same thing as the virtual business or? No, they're two different. Okay. So the Kids Expo okay. more so um, focuses on educating the children and also letting them network their products, but um, brings in a, a, a young entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur. So last time we had Gabby Bowles. Mm -hmm. So she has her products in stores and Target and all these other stores. She went through the patent process and she actually shared all this information with the kitties. So we wouldn't do that for an adult expo. We would bring in someone else of um, adult age to share their information with kids. So um, the difference is with the adult expo is more so oriented towards um, sharing and networking, whereas the kids is more so focused on educating and sharing information and goodies. And while having fun, because while we do fun, have games, yes. even okay. during the expo, because we know sometimes children wanna play games and mm -hmm. they have short attention spans or anything that they wanna do. So we do try to keep it fun. Um, mm -hmm. So we do have games and we break out and, and let them, you know, talk amongst each other, yes, for each other, um, you know, during That's all That's for that. the kids. For the kids, so. Adults is different. Exactly. So we have. I mean, the adults might want to break out and play too, but go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, the adults too. The adults play like the bezel dating. Yeah. Adults. Okay, girl. But that's for for them to play. Yeah. But play respectfully, you know. Yeah. You get me. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what type of influence do you an anticipate these kids to have in the business world? Mm. hopefully we can just have a positive influence for them um, I know when we had guest speaker Gabby Gloves who's very intelligent um, mm -hmm. she was able to have a, a, a good influence on these these kids um, so hopefully we can just keep that momentum up okay. positive and you know what too you can learn a lot from a child mm -hmm. you know oh, team yeah. Gabby oh, yeah. I was taking but notes Tell her, because <laughs> trust me, when Gabby was on there, you think I didn't learn something from her? I know. She was telling us. I'm telling you. That's I awesome. mean, I was like, wow. The children are wow. our future, and they, these, the right. next generation, this Generation Z, they are some smart kids. So yes, they, they are. It's always mm -hmm. helping me out. Right. So we can learn a lot. I mm -hmm. agree. Definitely. It's the truth. Mm -hmm. Learn a lot from these babies now. <laughs> do you envision these young business people will have a positive impact on providing jobs and opportunities for others oh yes. absolutely yes. we do um for instance we'll go back to gabby Bowes. i believe she has a uh, a set of teens teens all mm -hmm. across the u.s mm -hmm. that sell her products so she's building entrepreneurs oh, that's awesome. herself so wow. she shared that with our group so yes, these people, these kids are able to learn and learn to be bosses and employers and employ their community. So that's what we're showcasing in the kids expos, how to be a boss and actually how to employ other people and uplift your community, bring money into the community. And it's a Gabby is okay. only 13. So oh, he, wow. he has young entrepreneurs starting at an early, early age. And I think she started at the age of seven or something like that. Wow. Seven years old, you can, a child can become an entrepreneur. And now she's at six figures. So um, oh, she says awesome. her, her business continues to grow. So she's sharing that knowledge with other young entrepreneurs also. Wow. So if you have something in your heart, anybody out there that you want to do, go for it. Don't let the people tell you. You shouldn't do that. Nobody gonna buy this. You don't know. They gonna be the right. first one to buy it. Trust and me. even if they say that's already out there on the market, do yours is not already out there on the market. Right. Thank so you, so girl. So Thank you. So true. That is so mm -hmm. true. The mm -hmm. truth. I need some pom poms for that one. Right. <laughs> don't let com yep. don't let competition discourage you. If that's yep. what you want to do, or if yep. that's your passion, God is gonna place it. Well, I'm gonna say God is gonna place 
the path for you to do what you have to do for your business. You can't that's focus right. on everybody else's business. You can only well, that's what the Bible says. Yeah. The Bible says uh, <laughs> the Bible says the world will make room for your talent. Right. So, uh, right. Yep. Path, whatever it is, the world will make room for it. That's right. I agree. Mm-hmm. I definitely I agree as well. well. <laughs> and that's true because you know what? Real quick, I always have something to say. <laughs> also reading the book. It's called Lights, Camera, Guy. You know, <laughs> she is right, good. Book right here. This is one of our best of members. <laughs> it's one of a our best of members. members. Authored by one of our a best members. great lady from nice. Shady Anna is actually her name. Um, and you can actually find that book on Amazon. Just, you know, type it in, Lights, Camera, God. And mm -hmm. she has great experience. She was actually in the movie House Party. So, um, oh, wow. Yeah, she's oh, okay. a, a great woman. I know her personally. So, uh, her book, I'm pretty sure, has a lot of great things in it. I can't wait to read it myself. So I'm pretty sure it has a lot of great things in it. And she's speaking from experience. Like I said, I know her personally, so I can attest that she is a, a great, phenomenal woman. And I brought Stay that in. book up because Moya brought a good point. She said, um, God will make room for your gift. Is that how you say it? That's what the Bible says. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's true. Because that's what Deanna had. That was straight from the Bible. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, yeah. Deanna had that in her Bible. So you're that's right. That's why we're friends. <laughs> so as you can see, we like, right. like to promote. We like to promote our, <laughs> our members, their business endeavors. And we also like to read and educate ourselves. Right. So um, we can help others. So that's what we love to do. And you see, that's what I'm talking about. On here, I probably show how many people's, I don't know. A it's, lot. You are really throwing it out there. Yeah. Yes. You are. I mean, just yeah. like another thing too, like my lipstick I have on. I don't know if you can see it. This lady makes um, sauce, saucy sanyas. No. I don't think Flair. you can see it. Yeah. But no, I can't see it. I don't well, know. Okay. Yeah. But um, <laughs> her lipstick, go to saucy sanyas. That lipstick is the bomb. I'm gonna show this real quick. I know this don't have nothing to do with it. I'm sorry. But oh, she made really this cool. herself. Yeah. She, wow. she okay. made this herself. Wow. I think she said this is vegan lipstick. And I'll just put oh, it on real okay. quick for y'all. So yes. Uh, okay. The black business every day is <laughs> action right now. We are showcasing uh, the the product. Yes. <laughs> it's popping. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> You got to excuse me. I know I'm a mess, but I like no, to have you know, fun. Okay. You got to have fun. But a mess. Okay. I stopped talking for a minute. I love her. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> so, what's your end goal for these young business uh, people? Our end goal is for one, for them to be successful, two, for them to have the knowledge to actually be successful and be profitable. We can't just go into business and think it'd be instantly popular, although it happens sometimes, mm -hmm. it's in the rare that it happens. And give them a different perspective. You can be a professional entrepreneur, you can be a you can be a doctor and open your own practice, you can be a lawyer and open your own practice and mm -hmm. accountant. And you can yeah. also just sell retail products and you can sell your own creative, talented products. But we want to give them the tools to let them know that, yes, you can be an entrepreneur and you can build wealth, build wealth. That's the key. We want them to learn is to build wealth because yeah. that's something that um, is not abundant in our community. So we want right. to share that with them and let them know uh, it's, there's an opportunity wide open for you to take advantage of. Give them the resources mm. to the tools. Okay. I agree. I agree. So let's go into, we talk a lot about Build a Sister Up. Um, you have another group called Build a Brother Up as well. Um, can you give us a little bit more detail about the groups? Um, we'll also share that when I, when I end the live, I'll add all the links so that everyone can actually join your groups. But can you tell us a little bit about Build a Sister Up and Build a Brother Up groups that you have on Facebook? Yeah, so with both groups, we aim to encourage through words because, I mean, it's a Facebook group, so there's only so much you can do virtually. But through our words and our posts and our encouragement is to um, build a sister up and build a brother up individually and separately. So build a sister up um, shares encouraging words to uplift women and celebrate women, whereas build a brother up allows men and women to uplift and celebrate the men. So mm -hmm. it's saying reverse for build a sister up. So um, once again, we just want to do affirmations, encouraging words. We want to actually break down conversations 
and have those uncomfortable conversations sometimes that we need to have to actually change and grow. So um, some people may get upset. We have members always complaining to us about Every certain day. things. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we're not going to kick someone out just because they you disagree. Want them to. Right. right. So um, yeah. we play the neutral role because we know that these conversations have to be had and everyone doesn't think the same. Everyone is not right. a monolith. Everyone is not mm -hmm. a unicorn. So we need to get each other's perspectives to try and understand one another because communication is key. And sometimes we just don't have the communication skills to actually communicate with one another. And that's what we want to do. We want to give the skills to the keys to life. We want to actually be able to build through conversations because those uncomfortable conversations are the ones that we need to have. So Build a Brother Up is also, uh, we are admins also, uh, three of us are admins, but uh, we also have some men that are admins of Build a Brother Up, which are include uh, Marcus Norman, Trevor, uh, and Derek. Uh, Derek, right, Derek guys changed me. Um, <laughs> those are the, the, the male admins of Build a Brother Up. Okay. And we have Ari, she's a, um, she's a woman, but uh, we, we just love women who understand men, and of course we just let the men kind of um, kind of lead in that right. one, and okay. whenever we're not need, men, right? Not men. So whenever they need like a women, a woman's perspective, we try to jump in. We when we jump can. in. But, um, okay. That one is more brother led, and build a sister up is more for the sisters. So. And the conversations are drastically different. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm in both of those. So, you know, viewers, make sure y'all join uh, the groups. But um, let's let's go into uh, asking some questions um, <laughs> in regards to uplifting or giving your perspective. And one um, quick question. Yeah. I mean, not question. I don't know what you call it. But someone made a comment in the group before. Uh, they were, because as we stated, we do try and... Um, I went, I guess it would, we would say crowdfund any type of business or anybody, you know, we have a sign up sheet, just put your business down. Or if you don't have a business, you know, just put your name down mm -hmm. because uh, we're just asking that you give the dollar, you know, a dollar a week to that business or that person of the week. So someone brought to our attention and said, well, hey, why are you begging from money, I thought this was a build a sister up. Well, actually we're not begging for anything. We're doing it to try and promote and help people's businesses. Because if mm -hmm. you think about it every day, sometimes you go buy something, right? Mm -hmm. So why not try mm -hmm. and help within your community? Why right. not yep. try and help people within your business? Yep. And that's all we're asking for. That dollar that we're asking you to donate or give that's for that person. Build a sister up does not get one cent, two cents, or anything. That it's money right, goes right exactly. to that person's account. Okay. And that helps them do whatever they need to do. So I just wanted to address that too. I know that person is out there somewhere. And it's a lot of people that may not donate. I don't know why, but it's a dollar. Some people might say, shoot, I'm not about to get them their dollar. But you know what? That same person might have put their name on the list. Mm -hmm. And they might be up next week and mm -hmm. then they're starting to get donations and they're, they're thinking, oh, well, maybe I should have got. So to me, it's like, you know, just help people out. If you don't want to give a dollar, go on their website and buy something. If you don't have the money to buy anything, send them something encouraging. Uh, and, and to go into a bit of a deeper perspective on that angle, um, mm -hmm. other communities may have investments or investors right to actually go to and help build their businesses. Whereas we, on the other hand, may not always have those opportunities. So one way we wish to crowdfund is to be the investor. So look at us as the little investors, we're not asking for anyone, any money back, but other communities have these advantages that we all don't have. So sometimes you have to think outside the box and think of creative ways to get our businesses off the ground. And those are the, the preliminary steps we actually have to start taking to actually be wealthy and to decrease the wealth gap. Some of those things we have to just take on our own. We're only, uh, well, African-Americans are only about 13 to 14% in the US and we just don't have the keys and the advantages to research that other communities do. So what do you do when you are faced with those obstacles? You have to take advantage and start acting on behalf of yourself. So that's why we do the crowdfunding and ask others to invest in these other businesses to actually build a sister or brother up in their businesses. I think yeah. that overall comes with yeah. unity. We have to be able to unite 
and understand each other. Again, I know I think most people can sometimes be afraid, I guess, or reluctant to, um, you know, give. They may anything. think it's a scam. They think it's, it's a scam. It's... We've gotten called. Uh, we've gotten. We've said. We've gotten called a scam artist. We. <laughs> we know all the pyramid schemes. Listen, pyramid schemes. I'm an attorney. We don't do pyramid schemes. Those are illegal. So it's not a pyramid, not a pyramid scheme. scheme. Right. But then this money does not come to us no. at all. We have received zero dollars from since we started this crowdfunding. We've received zero dollars. We advocate on behalf of everybody. That's all we do. We just advocate for people to give the dollar. That's it. And it doesn't come to us. So I think sometimes people are just reluctant to to give. Yeah. And, and if you look at it like Trump or um, Bezos, I don't know where Bezos exactly got his um, his financial backing from. But with Trump, I think his father gave him a million dollars just to start with. So we just don't have those opportunities. A lot of us right. just don't. Mm -hmm. so we have to start somewhere. And why not start with crowdfunding within our own Facebook group, you know? Right. Yep. And I think it's just, I mean, my perspective on it, when you're posting um, stuff on the page about about funding uh, for the businesses, it's just promoting. I don't, I don't see it as anything else. You're just promoting that business. And for those yep. that are helping, you're actually sowing a seed into someone else's business. So yep. that it can prosper. Exactly. So yep. in the future, if it does become a million dollar company, you can be like, I sold a seed into that business. And yep. that's exactly. how look exactly. into it. You know, we all want to help each other. We got too yep. much negativity in the world. So why not sow a dollar a week? I'm sure you spend six, seven dollars probably a day on lunch. Yep. One dollar can sow into a business to prosper. So that's my perspective on it. Yeah. But and I mean, appreciate yes, that. Thank yes. You. And it's just a dollar, a yeah. dollar, a yeah. dollar. Yeah. A dollar can go a long, long way. way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I put myself in, in, in from the other person's shoes. If I was yeah. a member of this group, would I want to donate a dollar? And I said, yeah, especially if I know that I would get a chance to receive donations on my right. own. I said, yeah, I would definitely yeah. give a dollar just to get 10,000 back. It's 10,000 members in the group. If each member gave a dollar, that's 10,000 plus dollars. And only $52 a year. Only $52 for a the year one per individual. person for the one that's given a dollar. So it's 100 so that's, yeah, that's, that's that, that for me, that will work out. And again, that's if everybody participates were to be able to participate in. I don't know. But we don't want anybody to go out and, and listen and say, you know what? Hey, I'm going to give my $52 to this one business. No, we said <laughs> <laughs> $1. $1. $1. Right, and then, you know, don't come back and get mad at us because you <laughs> you were very generous <laughs> when, we said, when we said generously give one dollar you gave 52 i mean we would appreciate it. i'm pretty sure that person would appreciate it but we have again ten thousand members so you want to make that you know stretch stretch keep right, it one dollar. Right. <laughs> i agree so let's um let's jump back into building a sister and building a brother up i do want to do some exercises in regards to with you ladies um and just get your input in, re in regards to some things. So um, can each lady individually speak on an experience in your life in the past that has molded you into uh, being the woman you are now? I think overall, I'm uh, overall, I'm in my 30s now, my um, fresh 30s. I'm a young 30. So, <laughs> <laughs> so overall, I have 30 years of experience and I've, like I said before, I've always wanted to help women. I've always had a heart for women. I think living on this earth, I want to leave a legacy as if, you know, I was there to help somebody out. I don't just want to live life with not helping anyone, you know, just keeping everything to myself. I want to be able to help somebody and not just my son, but mm -hmm. others too. So um, having this platform to be able to help other women, and I like it when when women come to me for advice, um, I like it when men come to me for advice. Um, it's very rewarding for me. So to be able to have this platform to be able to help one another, which we need, is a huge blessing within itself. So build a yes. sister up and build a brother up has transformed my life into actually doing what I wanted to do. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I've always said that I wanted to do. I wanted to help men and women. So I'm actually fulfilling my life's goals. Yes, and um, how has my life shaped? 
how I serve, build a sister up and build a brother up. I've always wanted to serve. It was either going to be law school or med school I went to. So I'm able to do that and use the tools, the education that I received and actually share um, great resources and great tools to educate the community myself. And um, specifically for the best of dating, I am single and I, um, I've been- Are you ready to mingle? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> But uh, with personally with our brand, The Bezel Dating, <laughs> personally with our um, brand of The Bezel Dating, I can share my experiences and I know how hard it is to date out here and find someone that's compatible. It so is. what we do with The Bezel Dating is try and match you up and we ask the questions. We try and get it right to see who's great for you. And um, I know with other dating apps, some people start the communication and just phase off. We want to break that barrier too and um, allow for effective communication to come along so people can actually connect. So um, with my dating experience, I know how hard it is once again to date and I use my experiences and channel that into effective communication and dating in the bezel dating. So um, from my personal history to my work experience and my educational to academics, it all has shaped us, to, well me, to be able to navigate all of our different brands and input my personal experience that I've learned and wish to share. So we can actually become successful. The per the people, the community can actually become successful some way or another. If we reach one or two people in our different brands, we'll say we have fulfilled our goal. Okay, okay. How about you, Palita? What's one thing in your past that's molded you into the woman that you are now? Well, one thing I can say, um, helping, 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 helping. That is uh, one thing that I said uh, God has put on my heart to do and to that I enjoy doing. And with Build a Sister Up, it is helping me to help others, okay. you know, in different type of ways. Every time we go on live and we bring a different business up, um, I can see how we're helping them because I see their posts. Some people are, you know, doing what we're doing and it's fine you know we can put a positive quote up or something a tip of the day and we'll see somebody in our uh group that went ahead and put that same tip of the day on their business you know on their page so i can see we're encouraging people through what we're doing and that's how build a sister up is helping me it's molding me into being the person I need to do, not need to do, need to be. See, look, I told you. Right. And we, another thing we do is the happy birthday posts. People love those posts. I think oh, yeah. the most engaging posts. So if we can tell one person happy birthday that may not hear it and they get hundreds of happy birthdays. That kind of makes us happy. Oh, and it's a blessing no. to live to another see another year, year especially yes. with everything going on. So we, we have lift birthday. Yeah. Love it. Um, a blessing to live and see another year it is yes. speaking of blessings um name one thing that you love about yourself just one because I, <laughs> I think overall i'm a phenomenal woman and i thank <laughs> god for it you know i thank god for him shaping me into who i am and you know with all of the ups and the downs mm -hmm. to be able to still have a relationship with him and know that he comes first is a blessing Right. Um, but overall, I think I'm a, a very fun person. I sound like Kawhi. <laughs> yes. Leonard, I that is. I'm fun. <laughs> Kawhi, my name, tell us about yourself. My name is Moya, and I'm fun. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, but overall, overall, I just, I don't know. I can't narrow it down. That was the fun. Thing. That was the fun. That was fun right there. Oh, okay. That well. was fun. I laughed over <laughs> here. <laughs> it was fun. Now about myself, because I know it was on me. Uh, <laughs> what I like about myself, first of all, it's a lot. I like my wig. Yes, this is a wig, <laughs> y'all. I like my wig. I like my braids. And I like me. And that's what you got to do. You got to mm -hmm, like you. Mm -hmm. Now, no. Am I going to take this off? No, I'm not. Because <laughs> you might still wear a different wig, whatever. But I like it. It's a braided wig and it's cute. When I find out where I got it, I might put it in the comments, but I don't know. 
<laughs> I bought it a uh, long time ago, but you got to like you, you know, you got to mm-hmm. be you, be you like you and don't worry about what nobody else is saying. Cause you know no. what? Let me say this real quick and I'm going to stop talking. People on Facebook, YouTube, uh, MySpace, uh, Instagram, all this stuff. You know, a lot of people, they start talking and running their mouth, trying to put you down. Don't worry about that. Just go do you love you. Love you. Keep going. Right. All right. We each got one life to live. So you have to live it to the fullest. You have to. And I guess I like about me, the, um, one of the things I guess I like being me. I just love about you. Love about yourself. Love about me. I love being comfortable and being me. I know my flaws. I know my boundaries. I know my standards that I have for myself. And I love that about myself. I'm not swinging for anything. And I'm comfortable with that. So that's what I love about me. And you know what else too? I love the fact that I know I'm not perfect. You Mm -hmm. said two things. You said one. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and you said yeah. she was done. Yeah, didn't I didn't just it. say. I you told did you. say she was done. <laughs> <laughs> she you know off. what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, said, you know Donald, what Donald said? What's that girl? Donald. Oh, he, he won't say nothing. He said something. He said, I like your wig too, pretty lady. Oh, that's her husband. <laughs> that's her husband. <laughs> Oh, okay. I love it. I love it. Oh, you heard me say about my wig. <laughs> I don't do it. Yeah. I'm sitting there. Ain't he in the house with you? <laughs> no, he's actually at work. He's oh. actually at work. Shout out That's to okay. my husband being a supporter. I like that. Yeah. So, with Just the- you know, I take this wig off when it gets hot. <laughs> you know, I put it on. <laughs> okay, I'm done talking about my wig. <laughs> So being as though that you have both of the groups, uh, can one or all three of you ladies um, share a topic that you can remember um, off of one of the groups that you enjoyed uh, that someone shared, one of the members shared on the group? Maybe I that. think um, her name is Jai Exec Kids or something like that. She's a husband's blessing. Great and she has some very good posts. I'm very thankful that she's in the group because she actually, let me get this straight. All of the members are great. Well, some of the members can have different perspectives and and we need all of the different perspectives that Mm -hmm. we have in of the members in the group. Um, But Jai Kids, Jai Exec Kids, she actually posts some very thought provoking um, questions. It's like, Mm -hmm. um, what is your purpose of life? Like things like that. And she always has very good questions. And I'm like, man. Thank you for this question. Um, but she posts so many great things that I'm just like, I'm thankful that she's in, in you know, in the group. Uh, you got to check her out. <laughs> Build a yeah. sister up, join the group, check her out. Jai Exec Kid. She makes some very good questions tailored towards you as an individual to make you actually go over your life and think about it. And, right. and um, how can you grow as a person that's kind of what her questions are tailored to so i like those type of questions um growing as an individual because each day we should grow to strive to do better and she poses those questions to make you or to 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 get you to try to think better for yourself right Mm -hmm. i like a ton i like everybody i like all of our Mm -hmm. members topics and comments questions um and i would just say i I like liz liz j i think (laughs) the last thing but Mm -hmm. um she's always discussing financial literacy and i just love Mm. oh yeah um, yeah that's something that we need to hear more of and talk about yeah because that's where we need to advance um that's what we need we need finance to live every day so Mm -hmm. um i just love that she brings that perspective and discusses it and she knows what she's talking about she just always is she always knows and and deja graham i love her she's always telling us about the stock market and i'm like i'm always on robin hood buying or selling whatever she is but (laughs) she keep you informed on the stock market and also percival percival if you just have a bad day (laughs) if you just having a bad day or you just want to laugh check out percival's post because the guy the man is just funny <laughs> he come, he will make you laugh with the stuff that he posts i'm just like where does he find this stuff <laughs> um, we have all of our members are they're great, exceptional these are they extraordinary are. exceptional beautiful members yes yeah, very different posts from if you want thought-provoking if you want to 
have debate. fun. Yes. <laughs> we want to debate in a in a very respectful manner. Selena Gomez. <laughs> Selena Gomez. <laughs> she has those debatable, very respectful posts, though. Uh, she gets you think she posts things that you talk debated. about in everyday life. Yeah. So, yeah. First of all, makes you laugh. Um, we just get Tanya Morgan so. always bringing some. She's powerful. Yeah, she's just powerful too. Yeah. That's awesome. We've gotten to know these people. We, I think we we've had this group for about a, a year now, over okay. a year. Okay, so ten thousand. That group. That's ten thousand followers a year. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we've got awesome. Them. That's <laughs> yeah. Probably, is there any topics that you can think of that stood out to you from a member? You know what? Actually, no. <laughs> Every. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that. No, everybody has a great topic. Everyone has something good to say, but I don't like the bickering, but you know what, actually, that's how you grow. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you grow, you bicker, and then you make up again. So it's always good. If you're going to bicker, make up, make up. be friends. <laughs> if you're going to bicker, you know just try to make up. Yes. We're all in this fight We're together. We're all adults for one, and we can all right. You know, make up in the end. Not like this fight, but you know what right. I'm saying. Talk fight, because sometimes right. you gotta watch your words when you say fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. People, you know, yeah. she said fight on her group. I heard it. No, I'm saying like talk, <laughs> talk, talk, talk. talk yeah. fight, people. Not this fight. We didn't say that, Bill. <laughs> we don't be playing that stuff. So be frank. <laughs> That's awesome. So what do you think that, um, this may be personal, but what do you think that in the black community we're, we're lacking in regards to building each other up? Unity, unity, <laughs> communication, mm -hmm. you know, um, want encouraging. To, I mean, one of the bar one of the primary barriers is we want to mm -hmm. fight first before actually hearing one another out. I would yep. think. So, and being negative to one another. I mean, stop hating so much. Dude, I agree. You know, it is so much of that. And another thing is like, okay, if you know you, good example, here it is. Mm -hmm. If you go to a black owned business and they messed your food up, it was nasty. I wouldn't go and post about their food. The whole business. Mm -hmm. Can you just go and call the company and let them, you know, make their wrongs right and better is better. My grandfather used to say that. <laughs> but let them correct their mistake. Because mm -hmm. trust me, how many times have you went to that place with the fries on it, that, that M, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to say the name, but how many times have you went to that place to get you your fries and everything and the kids always want that little red box, you know, to come in the <laughs> happy fries and all that stuff. And something was wrong with your food. Right. Mm. You was like, look, they messed it up. I'm not going back. And you find yourself going back two weeks later. You don't put their stuff on there all the time. That's so so why don't we give them a chance like you give other businesses a chance? Yep. And that Good point. just eats me up inside, like that. you know? Yeah. And that's really for any business. Really, is it's mm -hmm. actually for any business. Why go so far to take a picture, post it on there and, and just tear them down because everybody makes a mistake. Because trust me, there might be a time that you might have a business and you make a mistake. Yep. You're going to want somebody to come to you and tell you instead of going on Facebook or YouTube or in the middle of the mm -hmm. street and letting everybody know what yeah, you did. Right. Give them a it chance. Is, yeah. You know? and we, we do understand that there's hidden trauma, past trauma that still plays right. today. Right. So we have to, we take those things into consideration and we don't just assume that um, everyone's having a good day. There's no reason why that person should be coming at the other person that way. So um, we like to encourage understanding with the group members and in our everyday lives because we know there's things that we just have no clue on what someone's dealing with. Mm -hmm. So True. we take regard to that in everyday human life. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. So we're going to go on to um, your dating site, Bedazzle. <laughs> Can you uh, tell us about it? We're going to talk on that. <laughs> 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 Bedazzle dating is um, 
again, we, we started this site to bring back love and to bring back uh, real relationships and hopefully encourage marriage overall. And we've met great people who are actually serious about finding love. And I think we have two couples right now still who um, we're watching and wait, well, actually three now, we're watching to wait for for um, our invitations to weddings pretty soon. So um, we're very excited about that. What we do in the Bezel Dating is we study these individuals. We try to get to learn them from for ourselves first um, to try to see how serious they are about finding love and we bet. Um, committing, yeah, we bet. correct, we vet to try to just get to know them. And then after we get to know them, we try to match them up accordingly to who, um, you know, they might mesh with. So um, it's a fun process and we just love it when these people actually connect and actually find something that's, that's real. We want people to step outside their normal comfort zones. We want mm -hmm. people to um, meet their standards. Mm -hmm. But we want people to step outside their normal comfort zones and do mm -hmm. something different that's connected with the Bethel dating to find a, a potential match. And um, one of the things we also do in Build a Sister Up and Build a Brother Up is we have a Shoot Your Shot Saturday. So we got mm. some wonderful news from one of our members that a lady actually shot her shot to him and he is all for it. He's like, oh, like oh. he was in all the in. bezel dating before. <laughs> right. He was in the bezel dating. So that's why we have three okay. couples. Awesome. Yes. We're following their journey just to make sure that, you know, everything works out. If it doesn't, they can always come back to us. Yeah. Right. But um, <laughs> yes, so. That again. That's right. Yes, right. exactly. So <laughs> she shot her shot and hopefully that goes shooting well. <laughs> so maybe I like I that shoot my one. shot. <laughs> shoot it. Uh, Just shoot you got your eye on somebody? I can't you interested in? Let me find out. Mm, I don't know. We'll see. I'll it's let you one know. of those things you don't want to say it until you know it's official. Because I know mm -hmm. man, it is hard to find somebody that you're actually yeah. attracted to. Cause, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Thank what you. makes oh <laughs> so what makes your website different from other dating sites? So we are the actual matchmakers. We actually encourage communication because on those other websites, you're like kind of left on your own. Mm -hmm. you're like, they're true. like hands off and it's swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe left. But like what Moya was saying, we actually vet and we actually match. And then we mm -hmm. actually for like continue the communication process until you all are on your own communicating and thriving and successful, hopefully. So um, we don't just stop at, um, yes, you're matched. But we encourage communication because that's lacking on lots of apps. People match, but they don't actually communicate. And what's the point if you mm -hmm. actually want to date someone? So we do virtual dates. And another thing, um, we combine our virtual black businesses and expos by allowing people to advertise their products on our website so um, the other participants can actually set up a virtual date, whether it be dining, mm -hmm. um, buying food. But they're buying, they're purchasing from actual businesses and sending it to the other, the other half of their date. So, um, oh, wow. you have to set people up on dates. So, I mean, if you have a real dating, correct. So, if you have a business, say if you sell cupcakes or if you uh, make food or something like that, and you want to be able to advertise on our website, you can hit us up and we can get that going for you. It's just five dollars. Um, yeah, any businesses that advertise. would normally be a part of a day, anything that you normally do on a date, we mm -hmm. like those advertisers to come on and be a part of our uh, platform to. A lot of people to come to come together and date. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's awesome. Do you ladies believe in love at first sight? Mm. Personally, um, no. <laughs> I've never <laughs> fell in love with someone off of first sight. No. I think it no. takes a little bit more than just a point <laughs> to be able to know that you love someone because somebody can be attractive and then open their mouth and just not talking what you want to hear mm -hmm. lust that so, first sight yes. yeah Definitely. not love not for me i don't think so no paulita um <laughs> love at first sight it depends shoot i'm telling you you gotta come with it so i don't know i don't okay. know i would give it a a nine out of Zero. ten. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah. I don't think so. I, I, I don't know. You know what? Um, 
don't it's think so much else to love and it that it just it just has it can't just be based off of looks for me personally this mm-hmm. is my own personal opinion you can think how you want this is my own personal opinion yeah. for me no it takes <laughs> so much other things than just looking at somebody and say I, I love this person now it can be something where you could say I could see myself with this person mm-hmm. instant attraction something like that like an instant right. attraction but not instantly fall in love with them because people play too many games. So. Yep, I agree. Yeah, Not saying you everybody love play. could be married already. <laughs> so. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. So, what success stories have you had with your virtual dating competition? Uh, we actually have it on our websites, but um, so far we have one that has. They've met, I think it's probably been about a year now. So we should be hearing wedding invitations pretty soon. Um, But we matched them together. And and the the woman and the man, they were so thankful. They thanked us. And um, she said- We're still receiving messages from that woman. Right. I love her. I love her. She's a doctor and he's an engineer. Yeah. So she said it actually changed her life meeting this man. So uh, she said she gave up on love. Uh, but when meeting us and, you know, meeting her, her match, her man for her, she said it changed her life and she's so happy now. That's awesome. Were they local? Like, did they live in the same area or did they live in a different location? No, they didn't actually. One lived in one lived in Milwaukee or something like that. One lived in DC. So wow. uh, they're working it out though. That's awesome. That's yeah. Awesome. Cause love doesn't have to be in the same state as you all. No, nope, it doesn't. No, nope, it doesn't. Not at all. Provide one thing you would like to accomplish for each business. So, um, with Vasa, that's build a sister up. We would mm-hmm. like to motivate women to empower themselves and change for the better. If they're looking for something to change, we want them to go ahead and be successful in whatever world they're trying to reach. But build a brother up, we're trying to do the same thing. We want brothers to set a goal for themselves and we help and encourage them, support with positive words and whatever positive things we can do to actually help them achieve that goal. With virtual black businesses and, and expos, we want to showcase uh, black entrepreneurs and what the, the products and the talents that they have and allow them to network and come together and eventually do crowdfunding for them. With the bezel dating, now we want to build marriages. We want to build unity, strengthen community, and it starts with um, great family structure. And okay. um, that's up. up. We want to um, market our own businesses, our own products. That's um, our hairline. We have Yamaniche hair products. Um, those are natural hair products, hair mist, hair oils, and um, those things that help, oils that help assist in hair growing and um, our brand or clothing brand we want people to be wearing those we want people to exercise in them and to wear them fashionably in spring summer fall and winter all throughout the, all the seasons we want to see people in those because of the purpose the words behind it, we want people to actually wear those and see that people are being motivated just by wearing apparel it can happen so um those are all our businesses that's what we want to do mm-hmm. okay if you could give advice to women about anything, what would it be? Be yourself, follow your heart, follow your, your gut, your intuition. And overall, just love who you are. Um, yeah. Forgive, yeah. Uh, forgive, like heal. trust yourself, mm-hmm. heal. And uh, again, just overall, love you. Don't be afraid to pursue the carefree spirit. Don't be afraid to pursue the aggressive or assertive spirit if that's what you want to be. If you want to be a professional, if you want to be a doctor, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be an accountant, if you want to be a stay-at-home wife, if you want to be a mother, if you aspire just to be uh, whatever you want to be, just do it. Be comfortable in it. And don't let people downgrade whatever you want to be. Just purpose in your spirit and your uh, whatever your calling is. Be the best you you can be in it. Take time out for yourself. Always. Yes, Never and have fun. Yourself. Have fun with life. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Be, be, and allow yourself to be placed on a pedestal. Got it. <laughs> allow yourself to be the, the new beauty, the, the standard of beauty. Mm-hmm. See yourself as that, whatever your complexion is. See yourself as equal footing with everyone else. Mm-hmm. They summed it up. You want to add anything, or they they, they, they took it. it away? Love <laughs> you, be you. Walk in your your business. Shoot, 
I couldn't yeah. even think of the word. Just just walk upright, hold your head upright, be you, have that confidence. That's what I'm looking for. Confidence. Have that confidence. Because you have to. You know, yep, I agree. Confidence, I have faith in God and have that confidence. And you know what? Take your bag and keep going. Because we all got some type of bag, you know, mm-hmm. history, you know, baggage, yep. whatever the case is. But just, you know, whatever the issue is, if shoot, if if one foot is bigger than the other foot, you better take that big foot and, and walk it like it's the same size as the other one and hold your head up and keep going because you just as pretty as can be. Yeah, don't care about popular opinion. Where your you hair can't. one thing that we um you have can't. to, I guess, come together about is our hair. You can see we have different hairstyles and we don't care. Mm-hmm. So be comfortable in your own hair. The hair that comes out of your head is your natural hair. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. love it. I got bundles right now, though, but I agree. I wear bundles. <laughs> I wear weaves, wigs. I wear all of that. All of that. And so whatever you want to wear, don't make anybody else care. Right. Yep. Who cares? Thank you. Who That's why I was talking. Are. That's Who why I was saying. You got to one foot bigger than the other one. Keep that's have right. that face. Yeah. I think I've worn basically about every hairstyle. I had the yeah. black hair, I had the curls, I had the afro, I had the locks. So I think I've, well, I had yeah, locks. So I think I've done just about every hairstyle. And during each phase, I did that for me. I didn't do it because somebody said that you should. I remember people were saying, you shouldn't um, get locks. You know, keep your afro. I love your afro on you. I love Thank you, life. but I'm getting locks because I want to do it for me. So well, I remember you posted. Should I wear locks or after? But in in the end, <laughs> no. Was... Tell me what you said because I need to hear. What? That's right. Exactly. Say it again, girl. It was my over. I had the final say. Okay. On what I wanted okay. to do with my own hair. So if you want to wear the locks, if you want to wear the afro, if you want to wear the weave, if you want to dye it blonde, if you want to dye it orange, it's your hair. Right. Do what you want to do with your own hair as long as it makes you happy. And you know, yep. I read a comment on a website that said, um, you know, a, a black woman's hair plays a lot a role in her dating, in her uh, work experience. It plays a role in her life. So um, we don't want to have to come form to any more standards anymore we want other people to just not care and pay attention right to our we just yes. want to wear our cute hairstyles and be mm-hmm. that's it i agree don't let others dictate who you are their opinion yeah. nope your opinions don't matter at the end of the day you know that's you right. got to be true to you and right. once you be true to you and you love who you are and you're confident in who you are other opinions don't matter exactly. no, <laughs> don't matter um, so before we actually close up, I do want to ask, um, we do ask all our guest speakers that actually come on, uh, one question. Um, thank you ladies for coming on and sharing your business. Uh, before we get into, before we get into the last question, uh, can you just recap all the businesses that you have and where everyone can find it at? Um, and then I'll also post it as well. Oh, like, can you say, so you have, yeah, we, oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'll, I'll do uh Bassa. So go okay. back you can find it's go Bassa, G O B A S U P.com. You can find products like this there. You can find other products. Um, we do, um, fashionable products. We pick the products and we put them on there and they're cute clothes, other things that you can just buy and we ship to you, of course. Um, we also have our own branded products, our Yamaniche hair products. We make those hand ourselves with our own hands. Mm-hmm. They're natural oils that we combine to assist in hair growth. There's the, the moisturizer and there's the hairspray. Yamaniche, you can just search for it on our website. That's gobassive.com. And we also have um, the bezel dating. Again, you can check that out at debezeldating.com. We're removing the filters of everyday regular dating and we are replacing those filters with long lasting serious relationships so you can check that out at dbezzledating.com and we we also have our virtual black businesses uh look us up on facebook is virtual black businesses and expos we are trying to get everyone to network together come together and be able to post your business 
um, trying to get some some more some networking in your own yes. uh, little atmosphere. Yes, your roll of it. So like us on Facebook. That's Bass Up. Just our regular business page is B A S U P. Bass Up is a trademark LLC. Um, we have Build a Sister Up. It's a Facebook group. You can join in on the conversation there for Building Sisters Up, men and women. We celebrate women on there and join Build a Brother Up. These are the T A H's. That's Build a Brother, B R O T A H. Build a Brother Up, um, Facebook.com. Join in the conversation there on encouraging men. Women and men can encourage men on Build a Sister, Build a Brother Up, and encourage women on Build a Brother Up. We also have Virtual Black Businesses and Expos, the Facebook group. And we also have the Bezel Dating, the Facebook group. And we also have, um, well, if you want to join in on our workout, our workout here, our workout is coming October 1st. You have to join your dollar, get your dollar into Moya here. Uh, what's the name of that? That one is called Workout with Bass Up. Um, and we were starting that. It's still new. So if you wanted to join, you only have two more, two or three more days to join to get yes. in on that. We're going to start bringing in workouts every uh, every day, different workouts, different workout plans, uh, different foods to eat. We're trying to get people to lose weight and stay healthy. Mm -hmm. so that's gobassive.com, thebezeldating.com. Paulita, can you share our virtual about businesses and expos website? Okay. Uh, also too, we have our kids and teen expo. Go to the kids and teen expo. Uh, dot com where you will find out we are having another kids expo it will be december 5th and 6th from okay. 1 to 4 p.m and that is virtually so it's all virtually so you can tell your kiddos that have some type of business they can come on and just hop on and let us know about their business also it is in eventbrite so you will be able to click on our website, kid, kidsandteenexpo.com, and it'll take you to our Eventbrite page. And then you can go from there. Sign and up. And the Bezel Dating is also on. We're having a mixer October 17th. Oh, yeah. Um, virtual mixer. It's free to attend. That's on Eventbrite as well. So just look up the Bezel Dating and our event should pop up for October 17th. A virtual mixer. It should be fun. That's awesome. You ladies are definitely busy, busy bees. So I, I oh, yeah. appreciate you queens for coming out and, you know. Thank you for having us. We us. appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes, it was um, of fun. Yes, it was <laughs> fun. I love you. It was fun. I'm gonna have to, you, got some, you got some pointers over there. So we're going to have to connect on the side. But one thing we do ask all our guest speakers, um, is what makes you uncommon? What makes you different from everyone else? That's a, an interesting question. Yeah, that is an interesting <clears throat> question. <laughs> so individually, you want us to ask, answer that? Yes, yes. What makes you ladies uncommon? What makes you you? What, what makes me me is all that I am. I am the essence of me. Nobody else can be me. Nobody else can walk the life that I walked or live or talk mm -hmm. how I talk or make people laugh or be witty like me or be... Um, just me be the me that I can be because I'm the only me that I can be and I'm the best that I can be and I'm sitting here rapping and rhyming but it's true <laughs> I am the only one that can beat me and that what that's what makes me uncommon I don't lower my standards I don't have unrealistic standards I have set standards for myself that I've achieved and I keep achieving different goals for myself every day I don't just reach one goal I try and go to the next so um, I'm uncommon because I like to achieve what's best for me and I don't look to other people to be validated. Mm, I'm, I'm uncommon because I am Moya. I don't think I know that nobody else can be me but me. Um, God has placed me on this earth to be me and I am special and wonderfully created in his eyes. So um, basically just, just me being who I am, just walking in everything that I want it to be and not conforming to the world um, mm -hmm. i i didn't go to my high school prom i didn't i was just my, i was in my own little world me and my me and my friends we were in our own little world so just not conforming to the world being my own person being my own mm -hmm. me i like that and what makes me an uncommon woman is because i am uncommon i mean dog bited i am 
I am me. I'm happy. I'm sometimes I'm sad, but let me tell you this: when I'm sad, God allows me to bounce right back, and I try and give that to other people. You know, that's what makes me me. That's what makes me me. I'm common. I'm happy, and God made me for me. For me being who I am. And I try and encourage other people to be the same. That's what makes me an uncommon woman. I'm not like anyone else. And you know what? I don't want to be like anyone else. I want to be me. And that's what you have to do. Any female, male, kid, dog, cat, whatever. Don't be nobody (laughs) else. Be you. You have to be you. And that's what makes me an uncommon woman. Okay. With the period, let me put the period there. (laughs) Period. Put the period there. Drop the mic. (laughs) Yeah, mic drop. Don't walk away, but just drop the mic. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Well, thank, thank you so for much having us, us. ladies. Thank you. We appreciate what you guys are doing. You guys are doing some major things. And we, I love the podcast. I love the empowerment that you guys have. And you two together, you phenomenal. all are phenomenal and you bounce off of each other. So I love the questions that you guys have for us. Um, we appreciate you even looking at us and wanting to be on your platform. Yes. Thank you, Uncommon Women. This is a lovely platform. It's beautiful. It's outstanding it's courageous it's bold and it's ever and Thank we you. had so much fun today yeah i have fun yeah with i did a lot of and i love that one when, when women get together the laughs the laughs are what make we can you can tell that we come together and if we can laugh like this we can be able to so do it with fun. all women we could do it with right. all women because yeah. you know it, and it's hard for us women because not all of us are together like right. Moya said earlier, like we're not united like that. Right. There's too much jealousy and that right. oh. hatred. Yeah. And, well, that and just like, comes with loving who you are. You got to love mm-hmm. yourself. I think once you really love yourself and really, really love yourself, you're not going to hate on nobody else. That's you're right. Gonna that's right. You're gonna that is you. right. Mm-hmm. So I think that that's definitely right. an insecurity within mm-hmm. right. some people. Because um, like all of you two women and one, two, three, Four, <laughs> all you four women plus me. Wait, two, four, five. All five of us here. We it's all four. have something beautiful. All oh, it's four. You can mean sorry, four. I was counting myself twice. It's, That's what it is. It's five. Also beautiful. Five. It's five. <laughs> yeah, it is five because I was in kicking myself. See, we are all beautiful. Like getting three at the we top. All have that beautiful yeah. smile. Our complexion. Your hair your lips, your eyes, your cheek, all of you all are so beautiful. Thank you. You are you gorgeous. Are beautiful, girl. Girl. You rock. Girl. You are very beautiful. And you're a queen. Inside and out. You're yep. beautiful. <laughs> you all are. You rock in the wig, girl. Yes. Yes, girl. Yes, hunty. Wing it. Yes. Wing it. Wing it. Oh. She wants you to sleep. There you go. Okay. Not too hard. Not Somebody too said much. not too hard. Because I don't want to swing it off on the video. Right. <laughs> Somebody said to tilt it. Don't tilt. <laughs> don't get your head back. Don't do it. Oh, oh, don't do it. It tilts a little bit. Not bad. <laughs> Halfway. <Okay. left. laughs> That's awesome. You gotta grab it and bring it back. Oh. Don't do this. Don't, you don't, don't do this. <laughs> and then I have to take the video off. I know, right? We have to cancel this and start all over. You're gonna have like, to take her video. Can you off. bring us on another day? <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> but it was fun. We appreciate yes, you. Guys. Thank you again. Oh, Lovely ladies. Mm-hmm. Ahead, you're welcome all right um thank you and thank you for uh our, our audience for tuning in um i'm gonna speak on our website um for where our apparel is on is www.uncommonwomen.net mm-hmm. um if you want to any businesses out there that want us to advertise and want to be on our website let us know as Shanera is right there showing the shirt 
Oh, yeah, um, and our self love shirt. Yeah, show them the yeah the self love shirts. Uh, also. Um, anyone who wants to be a guest speaker or knows anyone that wants to be a guest speaker that wants to come on um, so we can give you a platform so you can talk about your testimony as well as uh, anyone that wants to need to sponsor or wants to sponsor us uh, you can email us at uncommonwomenpodcast at gmail.com if you have any topics or questions you can hit us up on there as well um, you can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, IG, Twitter, um, iTunes, and Google Play. So um, anyways, again, thank you so much for coming on, ladies. Um, you guys are great. Keep doing what you're doing, especially for the community, and keep uplifting that Black community because, you know what, I'm with you. So thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. We appreciate it. Thank yes. you so yes. much. So much fun. It's been a pleasure, yeah. such a pleasure. And <laughs> viewers, please remember to stay uncommon. All right, we will do. Thank you.